What is ISDS? The EU is hoping to attract foreign investors with new international agreements. Thereby, potential partners are being promised a special privilege. The Investor State Dispute Settlement ISDS. ISDS allows investors to take legal action against government measures at private arbitration tribunals. Here, it is not independent judges making the decisions, but lawyers with close ties to business. This exclusive power of proceedings could cost us and our democracy very dearly. The response to the nuclear phase-out is a case in point. Energy companies are not happy that Germany has opted to abandon nuclear energy, and so E.ON and RWE have launched legal proceedings at the German Federal Constitutional Court. If this wasn't enough, the Swedish company Vattenfall is appealing at a private ISDS arbitration tribunal, where it is demanding 3.7 billion euros in compensation. These tribunals take place behind closed doors, and case documents are almost always kept secret. Decisions are made by three lawyers who work for major private law firms. Depending on the case, these lawyers can simply switch roles. Sometimes prosecutor, other times on the defense, or even acting as arbitrating judge. Moreover, these unaccountable figures have the power to overturn the judgments of the constitutional courts. Throughout, the arbitrators are earning big sums. $1,000 per hour is not unusual. In the background, their law firms lobby the corporations to sue as often as possible or help them to establish subsidiaries in certain countries so they can file yet more ISDS lawsuits. This trick was employed by Canadian company Lone Pine, which shifted its headquarters to the United States in order to sue Canada for its ban on fracking. The arbitrators also help corporations to raise funds for further lawsuits. The significant legal costs are paid up front by investors in return for a share of the profits. It's a thriving business, at the expense of taxpayers, the environment and hard-won social achievements. If the state is unwilling or unable to pay up, the only recourse is to abolish the very regulations that the corporations are objecting to. This was the fate of the environmental standards for the coal-fired power plant in hamburg moorburg these were ditched because the owner, Vattenfall, demanded 1.4 billion euros in compensation. Just the threat of ISDS lawsuits can mean that measures to protect the environment, consumers and social standards fail to become enacted at all. The number of ISDS lawsuits is rising rapidly. To date, there are 568 known cases worldwide. Among other things, corporations are suing to block a raising of the minimum wage block health protection measures, overturn a ban on toxic waste dumping in a drinking water area, block compensation for victims of apartheid, block the repeal of water privatization, or block the terms of bank bailouts. Lawsuits of this kind will occur ever more frequently if the planned agreement with the USA and Canada enters into force. These two agreements alone would allow more than 100,000 companies to circumvent our constitutional democracy. This includes many of the world's largest corporations, such as Monsanto, Exxon, Nestle and BASF. Please help to stop this agreement before it's too late. Share this video and add your signature now to stop TTIP and CETA.